March 4th represented a day of protest and opposition at UC Berkeley, with students and faculty banding together in demonstrations on campus, throughout the streets of Berkeley, and into Oakland. It's about 10.15 on Thursday, March 4th, and students and faculty have already organized at Taylor Gate in the first protest efforts of the day. The students can be heard chanting, Whose University, Our University, as they protest student increases in fees, faculty layoffs, and workers' rights. This protest was spurred by the 32% increase in student tuition, accompanied by faculty and staff layoffs, issues which have furthered the divide between members of the UC Berkeley community and the administration at the top. Part of the protest group left Sathergate and made their way toward Wheeler Hall, where lectures, classes, and midterms were taking place. I'm here at Wheeler Hall where some of the protesters actually went in and physically uh, disrupted one of the molecular and cell biology lectures. Uh, the students were in there for a couple minutes and then left. Um, upon their leaving, the fire alarm then went off, forcing all of the students of Wheeler Hall to have to evacuate. Uh, whether that is a result of the protesters that is at this time unconfirmed. Police fire alarm, strike enforcement. I'm here in front of Dumel Hall where another fire alarm was recently pulled a few minutes after the Wheeler Hall incident. A spokesperson of the uh, strike movement has just recently confirmed that it was a strike tactic used uh, to deter students from going to class. I'm here at Sathergate where students have continued protesting for the past few hours. Faculty as well as UC staff workers, everyone from lecturers to maintenance workers are here today in support of a rally against changes they believe affect them the most. Berkeley's demonstration was just one of many throughout the state of California today, with a major protest to be held at the state capitol in Sacramento and others from San Francisco to Los Angeles. To further protest the faculty furloughs, the tuition increases, and the layoffs, the students have marched over to the corner of Bancroft and Telegraph in Berkeley. From here, the faculty, staff, students, all members of the Berkeley community are going to walk over to the City Hall in Oakland. I'm here with Callie, who's a press liaison for the organizers today. Um, Callie, what exactly are you doing with the, the march to Oakland? Could you explain both the message that you guys are trying to send out to the community and, and what are some of your goals for today? Well, of course, Berkeley and, and UC Berkeley has um, a lot of associations for people. So across the country, it's of course, people think of protests, people think of that history. But in California, people think of it as um, a seat of privilege. So we made the decision deliberately to leave our ivory tower, to walk to Oakland and to join our um, friends and comrades from Laney College, Berkeley City College, and uh, K through 12 students, educators, parents, and other community members um, from across the East Bay. That's great. So really this is about the entire community, both of Berkeley and of Oakland and of all the schools around here coming together to show solidarity for the effort. Absolutely. Great. Thank you very much. Today's protest brought together members of all of the UC Berkeley community in a unified effort toward change. Whether the regents and the state will listen to these demands is yet to be determined, but this fight and this discontent is certainly not over. For CalTV, I'm Jake Lefferman.